Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening for the virtual public meeting for the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane. Buenas tardes a todos. Bienvenidos a todos. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros con esta reunión virtual pública que se va a llevar a cabo referente al carril de escalada de los camiones en sentido este del 110. Our formal presentation will begin at 6.10 p.m. We're giving folks a few moments to join the meeting, ensure their audio is working, and get situated. Again, we will begin the presentation at 6.10 p.m. Nuevamente, bienvenidos a todos y gracias por estar con nosotros. Esta reunión va a empezar a las 6.10. Y de esta manera vamos a esperar para que otras personas que quieren unirse con nosotros podrán estar presentes. Gracias y bienvenidos. This meeting is being recorded and will be available to view at a later date on the project website at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. Esta reunión se va a estar grabada y más adelante van a poder ver la presentación de esta reunión y podrán verla al entrar al portal de la página del internet. A live Spanish interpretation of the presentation will be available for the meeting tonight. Additional instructions on how to access the interpretation feature through Zoom will be provided when we begin the presentation. Quiero informarles a ustedes que esta reunión se va a llevar a cabo en español. La traducción va a ser al español y ustedes van a poder ver esto por medio de la característica de Zoom. Más adelante se le va a explicar cómo se puede utilizar. All meeting participants will be on mute and the video function is disabled during the presentation. Todos los participantes van a estar en silencio y La característica de video está desarmada. There will be an opportunity for questions and answers following the presentation. Habrá la oportunidad para preguntas y respuestas seguida de la presentación. In addition, we will be going over the methods to provide formal public comments regarding this project. A court reporter is also available to capture formal comments from tonight's meeting attendees following the presentation. También les quiero informar a ustedes que habrá, les vamos a explicar el método en el cual ustedes pueden hacer sus comentarios formales. A su vez, vamos a tener una taquígrafa presente la cual va a captar todos los comentarios formales seguidos después de la presentación. Welcome everyone. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for the virtual public meeting for the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane project. We'll get started in just a few moments. Buenas tardes a todos y bienvenidos. Gracias por estar presentes con nosotros en esta reunión que se está llevando a cabo referente a la escalada de camiones para la intersección del 110, perdón, del 10. We will begin our formal presentation this evening at 6.10 p.m. 
we're just giving folks a few more minutes to log on and ensure that their audio is working before we begin the presentation. Vamos a comenzar nuestra reunión a las 6.10. Nada más estamos esperando un momento para que otras personas puedan entrar y asegurar que el audio esté funcionando. Gracias. A reminder, this meeting is being recorded. The recording of this meeting will be made available for future viewing on the project website. Go SBCTA dot com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. Esta reunión se va a grabar para que tengan más referencias y más adelante poder verlo. Podrán verlo en el G-O-S-P-T-A punto C-O-V, G-O-V diagonal adelante I-10. A live Spanish interpretation will be available using Zoom for this meeting. Instructions will be provided once the presentation begins on how to access the live interpretation feature through Zoom. If you're joining from the telephone without Zoom access, a separate conference call number will be provided. Bien, les queremos informar a ustedes que en esta reunión va a haber un intérprete en el vivo y va a estar interpretando. Les vamos a decir más adelante cómo pueden entrar ustedes a la característica del Zoom y poder escuchar la reunión. También esta reunión se está llevando a cabo por medio del teléfono. A reminder, all participants will be on mute for the duration of the presentation and video will be disabled as well. At <clears throat> Un recordatorio a todos. La presentación va a estar en silencio y el video va a estar desarmado. Gracias. There will be an opportunity following the presentation for questions and answers. Después de la reunión, habrá la oportunidad para hacer preguntas y respuestas. If you are joining us for tonight's presentation, following the PowerPoint, we do have a court reporter available who will be able to capture any formal comments or questions you would like to leave for the formal comment record. We will also go over information on how you may email in your formal comment or write your comment in and mail it to the appropriate party. Additional information will be provided. También les queremos informar que una taquígrafa va a estar presente seguida después de la presentación y de esta manera usted puede hacer sus comentarios por escrito o si desea también lo puede mandar por correo electrónico o por correo. Información de esto se les va a proporcionar más adelante y esto se va a hacer después de la presentación del PowerPoint. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening for the virtual public meeting for the I-10 Eastbound Truck Climbing Lane Project. We will begin our formal presentation in just a moment at 6.10 p.m. Buenas tardes a todos y gracias por estar presentes con nosotros en esta reunión pública virtual del carril de camiones en escalada rumbo al este del I-10. Vamos a comenzar nuestra reunión a las 6.10 y en breve vamos a comenzar. An overview of tonight's virtual meeting. We will have a court reporter available following the presentation using our secure breakout room function. 
You may also submit your written comment via email or traditional mail. Additional information will be provided on a subsequent slide. Buenas tardes. Les quiero informar a ustedes que una taquígrafa va a estar presente durante la presentación y ustedes podrán hacer sus comentarios por escrito o por correo electrónico. Información más adelante se le va a proporcionar en la siguiente diapositiva. A reminder, all participants will be muted during the presentation. The live video feature has also been disabled. If you have a comment or question following the presentation, please use the raise your hand feature within Zoom. Bien, nada más quiero recordarles a todos que todos los participantes van a estar en silencio durante la presentación. El video, la característica del video que va a estar en vivo ha sido desarmado. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta después de la presentación, por favor, utilice la característica de alzar la mano en Zoom. If you are joining us on Zoom from your computer or laptop, you can access the Zoom toolbar by clicking on your screen anywhere. Click on the participants icon in the toolbar. After selecting participants, users will be able to toggle between raise hand and lower hand. Bien, si ustedes están utilizando Zoom por medio de una computadora o una computadora portátil, por favor, abran la característica del Zoom y de ahí háganle el clic en su pantalla y después todos los participantes van a ver el icono que va a estar en la cajita de herramientas y luego se va a abrir el panel. Después de elegir los participantes, el panel va a abrir y usted puede intercambiar de ahí. Similarly, if you're joining us tonight from your smartphone or tablet using the Zoom app, you can click anywhere on your screen Click the participants icon, which resembles a chat bubble with three dots. From the list, select your name, and you can toggle between raise and lower your hand. Al igual, si usted se está uniendo con nosotros por medio de su teléfono smart o su tableta, usted lo que podrá hacer es hágale el clic en la pantalla donde está Zoom y después hágale al clic en el icono de los participantes. Esto refleja una casilla con un globito de, para el chateo y tiene tres puntos. And if you are joining us tonight from a telephone without using the Zoom app, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine. Si usted se está uniendo con nosotros, y no está utilizando la aplicación de Zoom, usted se puede unir con nosotros y hacer su comentario en el teléfono al oprimir el asterisco 9. A disclaimer, we reserve the right to remove any participant for disruptive behavior during the duration of the presentation. Nada más les queremos informar a nosotros, a ustedes, que nosotros nos reservamos el derecho de sacar a cualquier persona de que tenga una conducta que no sea adecuada. At this time, we will deliver instructions on how folks can access the live Spanish interpretation feature for the meeting. Once these instructions are given in Spanish, we will give folks a few moments frequencies, and then we will commence with the formal presentation. Bien. Les quiero informar que este, el servicio de interpretación en español está disponible. Para, estas son las instrucciones. Para acceder el servicio de interpretación en Zoom por computadora en estas plataformas, Windows, Mac, OS. Estas son las instrucciones. Haga clic en el icono de interpretación que refleja aquí un globito y en las opciones de reunión. Seleccione español en el menú despegable. Por teléfono móvil en estas plataformas, Android o Apple iOS. 
en los controles de su reunión. Toque el icono de más, el cual tiene tres puntos. Toque la opción de interpretación de idiomas. Seleccione español y haga clic en finalizar. Para acceder a la interpretación desde su teléfono sin aplicación de Zoom, llame al 408-650-3123 con el código de acceso 506-863-133. At this time, we will commence with the presentation. If you would like to submit a comment following the PowerPoint presentation this evening, please use the raise your hand feature within Zoom. A court reporter is available in a secure breakout room to record your comment. To submit a written comment, you may email d8.1f760.comments at dot.ca.gov, use comments on I10EBTCL in the subject line of your email. Or you may write to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner with the California Department of Transportation, District 8, at 464 West 4th Street, MS 820, San Bernardino, California, 92401. All public comments must be received by Monday, August 10th, 2020. The purpose of tonight's virtual public meeting is to present the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane project to the community to discuss the project alternatives and environmental studies, to answer questions about the project, and to encourage participation and inform stakeholders how to submit written or verbal comments on the proposed project. Tonight's presenters will include Mark Hager, of HDR, a consultant to SBCTA, Angie Kung with HDR, a consultant to SBCTA, Paul Malokotone of SBCTA, and speaking, my name is Marisa Trouts and I'm on the community outreach team with SBCTA. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mark Hager to give an overview of the project. Good evening, everyone, and thank you again for joining our presentation tonight on the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane. On the screen, I'll describe um, the image that you can see that is uh, serving as the project map for discussion of the project tonight. Uh, the green line, shown to the far left uh, illustrates the existing truck climbing lane that exists on Interstate 10 in the eastbound direction today. The dashed blue line continuing from 16th Street overcrossing to County Line Road near the San Bernardino Riverside County border illustrates the approximate three mile extension for the proposed truck climbing lane being considered by the environmental document uh, being discussed during this public review meeting. The project purpose and need, the project need. The main justifications for this project are a result of the running speed of trucks falling approximately 10 miles per hour below the speed 
of the general purpose lane or um, general purpose lane traffic or conventional vehicles running in the general purpose lanes. The overall project limit does encounter or contain a sustained grade of up to approximately 4%. The overall project purpose is to improve traffic operations by separating slow moving trucks and other slow moving vehicles, climbing the steep uphill grades from faster moving passenger vehicles. Paul, if you'd like to describe the funding for the project uh, for the audience. That would be great. Thank you, Mark. Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Malokton, and I am the SPCTA project manager for this project. The I-10 Eastbound Truck Climbing Lane project is on the SPCTA 10-year delivery plan under the freeway program. This project is currently funded through the final design phase with a mix of local and state funds, specifically the San Bernardino County Measure I funds and State Transportation Improvement Program Funds, or STIP for short. SBCTA anticipates using a mixture of local Measure I, state or federal funds for the future construction phase. The project is estimated to cost close to 35 million. This includes support costs, such as engineering and environmental studies, and capital costs to pay for the construction contract. We are currently in what's referenced as the project approval and environmental document phase, or PAD for short. Typically during this phase, alternatives are developed, the preliminary design of the project and various technical design study reports are prepared, such as the traffic operational analysis reports, stormwater studies and preliminary pavement studies, for example. It is also in this phase that various environmental study reports are prepared, which includes community impact studies, noise studies, biological studies, and cultural studies, for example. After completion of the engineering and environmental technical reports, the draft project report and draft environmental document are prepared. Both reports are shared with the public and the agency solicit feedback from the community. This is where we are today. Based on what we hear from the public, a decision is made on whether to proceed with the project. This is where you come in, and this is why your participation is important. If the project is approved, SBCTA and Caltrans will proceed with the final design, which is anticipated to be complete, completed late next year. Depending on the funding identified for construction, we anticipate that construction will begin in mid-2022 and end in late 2023. Thank you again for your participation, and I will turn the presentation back over to Mark. So with that, the next slide will discuss the project overview and the alternatives that are being considered in this phase of the project. The first of those is the no build alternative. The no build alternative will not result in any construction and the facility will remain in its current condition. So essentially, no improvements made to Interstate 10 for this segment of the freeway. Under the build alternative, this process would consider or does consider the addition of approximately a three mile truck lane along Interstate 10 from 16th Street in the city of Yucaipa to County Line Road at the border between the cities of Yucaipa and Cala Mesa. The build alternative would also consider with its improvements to pave the median of I-10 within the project limits defined to accommodate the new lane as well as the construction of a concrete median barrier. The project would also require the widening of the bridge over Wilson Creek, which is a small stream crossing immediately west 
of the Live Oak Interchange and some other common features associated with the project would include the addition of some signage and stormwater treatment facilities to treat any runoff from the newly paved areas as well as existing paved areas before being discharged beyond the state right away. The existing conditions are displayed on this slide with the top third of the slide being a cross section of Interstate 10 as if you were looking down the freeway. The eastbound lanes are on the right half of the, of the facility. The westbound lanes as they exist today are shown on the left half. And as those of you know that live in the area, Cala Mesa Boulevard being immediately north of the interstate facility shown in this cross section at the far left edge. So essentially this is a depiction of the freeway if you were on it between Live Oak Interchange and County Line Road where three lanes exist in each direction. The bottom two thirds of the slide uh, shows a bird's eye view of the facility with east being oriented to the right so the lower portion of that would be the eastbound lanes, again headed towards Cala Mesa. The top three lanes of that bird's eye view would be headed westbound in the direction of travel towards Redlands. Again, you can see uh, the three lanes in each direction as well as the existing metal beam guardrail that is within the 36 foot wide existing median of the freeway. Again, these are the existing conditions that exist today and would remain under the no build condition. The proposed improvements that you can see in this slide are depicted in a blue shaded color. These represent the improvements that would be constructed under the build alternative. In the top half, or top third of the image. Again, you can see the paving that's defined uh, to construct a new number one eastbound lane shown in blue. And the outermost lane would be converted to the truck climbing lane and dedicated for use by trucks to climb the steep grade from Live Oak Canyon Road up to County Line Road. Similarly, in the bottom two thirds of the image, the pros, proposed improvements are shaded in a light uh, gray color where you can see the features labeled in blue that illustrate the median shoulder, the concrete barrier, and the number one lane. And then lastly, the designation of the outermost lane at the very bottom of the image which would be in the eastbound direction again, would be the restriping of that lane to dedicate it as a truck climbing lane in the eastbound direction, essentially extending the existing truck climbing lane that terminates at Live Oak Interchange by approximately three miles. Both the existing and proposed improvements do have videos that are available on the SBCTA project website that you can view at your own convenience and will give you a little bit more of a uh, perspective and virtual tour of how the existing conditions look today and how the proposed improvements would be implemented if the build alternative is selected as part of this environmental process. So to summarize the project benefits, the no build alternative, the project facility uh, will remain as it is today. Under the build alternative, traffic operations are expected to improve as trucks and slow moving vehicles climb the steep grade and are separated from the existing general purpose lanes. Essentially the build alternative again is extending the truck climbing lane eastbound for approximately three miles 
So we'll provide a dedicated lane for slow moving vehicles, which is also expected to improve safety. With that, that concludes the engineering portion of the presentation. I'll now turn it over to Angie Kung, who will discuss the environmental aspects of the project. Thank you, Mark. I'd like to go over a brief environmental overview of what we've done for the project thus far. Um, the purpose of the California Environmental Quality Act, or CEQA, and the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, is to one, inform governmental decision makers and the public about potential impacts of proposed projects on the environment. Two, to identify ways that the environmental impacts can be avoided, minimized, and mitigated. Three, to address environmental impacts through the use of alternatives, avoidance, minimization, and mitigation measures. Four, to disclose reasons for an agency's decision. And finally, to promote and encourage public participation. As part of the PAED process, as Paul had discussed earlier, we evaluate a range of environmental topics of study. This is a list, a brief capture of what we evaluated as part of the environmental process. They range from air quality impacts, greenhouse gas, biological resources, community impacts with environmental justice, section four of resources, transportation and traffic, visual and aesthetics, as well as noise and vibration. The technical studies that were prepared for those environmental topics were summarized in a draft environmental document. We have prepared an initial study, or IS, with proposed mitigated negative declaration, or MND. This has been prepared as the environmental document for CEQA compliance. We have also prepared an environmental assessment, or EA, as part of NEPA compliance. Following the public circulation of the draft ISEA, a final environmental document will be prepared. This will identify the pre preferred alternative and include the responses to the comments received during the public circulation period. Now I'd like to go over the environmental process, a little bit about what we've done this to date. Um, we started the preparation of technical studies and environmental studies in late 2017. Right now, as you can see, we are at the virtual public meeting today. And we are circulating the environmental document or draft environmental document for public review for a period of 30 calendar days, which started on July 3rd and will last through August 10th, 2020. After the end of circulation, we will respond to comments in August 2020, and we anticipate the completion of the final environmental document in October 2020. And now I'd like to hand it back to Marisa to talk a little bit about where these project documents can be viewed. Thank you, Angie. If you are interested in reviewing documents for the proposed mitigated negative declaration and the initial study environmental assessment, they are available for review online at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. These documents are also available at the following locations. Please call in advance to confirm as business hours may be subject to change. First location is San Bernardino County Transportation Authority, 1170 West 3rd Street on the second floor, San Bernardino, California, 92410. The phone number for the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority is 909-884-8276. You may also review 
copies of the project documents at the City of Yukaipa Public Works counter, 34272 Yukaipa Boulevard in Yukaipa, California, 92399. The phone number for the City of Yukaipa is 909-797-2489. That concludes the formal presentation this evening. We will now transition into the question and answer portion of the virtual meeting. In order to raise your hand, if you are joining us on Zoom from your computer or laptop, click anywhere on your screen to open the Zoom toolbar, click on the participants icon. Once the participants panel pops up, you may select your name and toggle between raise and lower your hand. Similarly, if you're joining us tonight from the Zoom app on your smartphone or, ta or tablet, you may click anywhere on your Zoom screen. Again, click the participants icon. From the list, select your participant name and you may toggle between raise and lower your hand. Finally, if you're joining us tonight from a telephone without the Zoom app, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine on your keypad now. I see Jackson Hurt has raised a hand. I will unmute you now and you can uh, give your question or comment. Hi Jackson, you're unmuted. Do you have a question or comment related to the project? We may be having some audio issues. Jackson, we'll come back to you. I'm going to put you on mute for just a moment. Let's try that again. We will come back to Jackson. At this time, I wanna give another reminder for everyone. If you would like to submit a comment this evening, we do have a court reporter available in our secure breakout room to record your comment. You may also submit your formal written comments via email to d8.1f 760.comments at dot.ca.gov. Be sure to use comments on I-10 EB TCL in the subject line of your email. You may also mail in your written comment to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner with the California Department of Transportation. District 8 at 464 West 4th Street, MS 820, in the city of San Bernardino, California, 92401. All public comments must be received by Monday, August 10th, 2020.
If you're interested in reviewing a copy of the presentation tonight or the video simulations that Mark referenced earlier in the presentation, you'll be able to find those resources on the project website at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. You may also review hard copies of the project documents in person at the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority, located at 1170 West 3rd Street on the second floor, San Bernardino, California, 92410. Telephone number 909-884-8276. Or you may also visit the City of Yucaipa Public Works Counter located at 34272 Yucaipa Boulevard, Yucaipa, California, 92399. Telephone number 909-797-2489. An additional reminder, this presentation is being recorded This recording will be made available on the project website for future viewing at gosbcta.com slash I-10 truck climbing. If anyone has a question or comment using the raise your hand feature on Zoom from your computer or laptop, click on the participants toolbar. Once you see your name on the participants list, you'll be able to toggle between raise and lower your hand. If you're joining us from your smartphone or tablet using the Zoom app, you can click anywhere on your screen, select the participants icon, from that list, you can select your name and toggle between raise or lower your hand. And if you are joining us tonight from a landline telephone or from a cell phone without the Zoom app, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine on your keypad. Hi, Marissa, this is Antonia with Caltrans. I'm wondering yes. if we could have a volunteer from those in public to raise our hand so we can test and see if we're having audio issues or if the previous commenter have the audio problem. Any volunteers? Yes, I've seen a few hands go up. I see. Oh, okay. Brooke, Spanish, and I will unmute you at this time. Hi, Brooke, can you hear me? You're unmuted. Yes, oh, thank Brooke, you so much. Thank you, Brooke. Yes, no problem. Okay. Please go ahead with your question or comment. I didn't have a question. I was just helping test to see if it was working. Oh, appreciate Perfect. it. Thank, thank you much. so much. Yeah, no problem. Also see Jackson Hurt. We will unmute you momentarily. Jackson, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, 
there we go. Jackson, you're unmuted. Go ahead if, with your question and comment, please. Jackson, you're unmuted if you'd like to offer your question. If we are having audio issues. You may also submit your comment or question in writing via email. Please go ahead and send in a comment to d8.1f760.comments at dot.ca.gov and be sure to use comments on I-10 EB TCL in the subject line of the email. You can also write your comment to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner at the California Department of Transportation, District 8 at 464 West 4th Street. MS 820 in San Bernardino, California, 92401. This is Antonia with Caltrans again. I'd like to acknowledge that Mr. Hurst did submit a written comment to the project email address. Um, if you'd like to submit any additional questions or comments, uh, please go ahead and submit them to that same email address since uh, it appears we're, we're having some audio issues with Mr. Hurst. Thank you. Thank you, Antonia. Jackson, if you would like to try to log into the meeting using the phone uh, feature, you can go ahead and call 669-900-6833, meeting ID 827-2399, Two three seven three. The password is zero four nine one five three. This information is also available on the project website, gosbcta.com forward slash I ten truck climbing. Again, we want to remind our participants this evening, this presentation is being recorded. The recording will be posted on the project website, so you'll be able to view the presentation in its entirety. Visit gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing, and the recording of tonight's presentation will be available for you to review. If anyone would like to submit a comment or has a question regarding the project, you may do so in writing via email or traditional mail. And all public comments must be received by Monday, August 10th. And Jackson, we also want to offer the team can stay on the phone line after 7 p.m. this evening if you do want to give us a call. And we'd be happy to uh, see if we can address the audio issues that we may be experiencing. Again, if you're interested in reviewing any of the supporting documents related to the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane, you may do so online at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. You may also review project documents in person at two locations. First, at the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority, located at 1170 West 3rd Street on the second floor, San Bernardino, California, 92410, telephone number 
884-8276. You may also review project documents at the City of Yukaipa Public Works Counter, located at 34272 Yukaipa Boulevard, Yukaipa, California, 92399, phone number 909-797-2400. All public comments must be received by Monday, August 10th. I see, Paula, you've raised your hand. I will unmute you now. Hello, I just wanna thank you for the information. It's very well presented, very organized, and I like your slides. So I appreciate all the efforts that your team went through to put this together. Thank you so much, Paula. We certainly appreciate that feedback. Thank you for joining us this evening. A reminder, tonight's presentation is being recorded. You will be able to watch the recording, which will be posted on the project website, gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. Marisa, it looks like Mr. Hurst has his hand up again. I was wondering if we may try unmuting him one more time. Yes, you know, it's been up the whole time. I'm not able to lower it on my screen, but I will try again to unmute. Thank you. I'm not able to unmute Jackson. And again, I am terribly sorry. Oh, did we just get some audio back? Jackson, you are unmuted now. If you'd like to offer your question or comment. Jackson, we're going to have a member of our project team send you a private chat. That way you can offer your question or comment that way and we can deliver it to the project team to hopefully answer your question. Bear with us just a moment. Again, we will be sending you a private chat and we will offer that as a solution. A reminder, if anyone else has any questions or comments this evening, you can do so by raising your hand. If you're joining us via Zoom from your computer or laptop, open the Zoom toolbar by clicking anywhere on your screen. Click on the participants icon in the toolbar. The participants panel will appear and if you hover over your name on the participants list, you'll be able to select, raise, or lower your hand. Similar process if you are joining us via Zoom from your smartphone or tablet. If you click anywhere on your screen, you'll see the Zoom toolbar. Click on the participants icon and from there, you'll select your name on the participants list and you can toggle between raise or lower your hand. If you are joining us over the telephone without the Zoom app, you can raise your hand by pressing star nine on your phone. Again, if you would like to submit a written comment, 
regarding the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane project, you may do so in writing either via email to d81f760.comments at dot.ca.gov and be sure to use comments on I-10 eastbound truck TCL in the subject line of your email. I want to let all of our meeting participants know we're going to go ahead and unmute everyone momentarily to test our audio. So if you do have a question or comment, you'll be able to offer it verbally in just a moment. Thank you everyone for your patience. He made a good talent. Does anyone have a question or comment that they'd like to offer? If you'd prefer not to offer your comment verbally this evening, that's just fine. We have uh, two other options. You may submit your formal written comment either via email or in writing to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner at the California Department of Transportation, District 8. 464 West 4th Street, MS 820, San Bernardino, California, 92401. <laughs> we'll try Mr. Hurst once more. Mr. Hurst, are you able to hear us? A reminder for all of our participants this evening, you'll find instructions on how to submit a formal comment, as well as a recording of tonight's presentation and a copy of the PowerPoint presentation on the project website, gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. We will also make the recording of tonight's presentation available on the project website. If you'd like to go back and view it at any time. Also, if you joined us a little bit later this evening, you will be able to watch the presentation in its entirety uh, on the project website. I understand that Mr. Hurst was able to chat with a member of our project team. Sarah, if you'd like to offer um, Mr. Hurst's question now, we'd be happy to take it so that the project team can provide a, an answer or response. Please go ahead. Thank you so much, Marisa. I'm waiting for Mr. Hurst to send them to me and as soon as I receive them, I will read them out loud. Excellent, thank you. We do want to thank everyone for taking time to join us for our virtual public meeting this evening. You'll be able to find tonight's PowerPoint presentation as well as a recording on the project website at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. Marisa? Yes. Mr. Hertz's first question is, if we submitted a comment for the DED, can we receive a physical paper copy of the final EA for the I-10 truck climbing lanes project? Thank you for that question. And I'm so happy that we were able to find a solution to make sure that we got your question or comment addressed tonight. Uh, Angie, may I direct that to you to start? How um, that might be provided? Yes, of course, Marisa, happy to do so. Um, so all comments that are formally submitted through email um, to, to the, um, for the project itself will be documented within the final environmental document, and that will be made available on SBCTA's website. At that time, we will also have any notifications that that document will be available for public consumption. Uh, so yes, it will be available for review online. Paul, would you like to add anything else? Yeah, thanks, Angie. Um, and also, uh, for clarification, Mr. Hurst, 
Are you asking for a copy, a physical copy of the DED for yourself to, to review? Is that, is that what you wanted? Or was the question, if you were to submit a comment, would that show up on the environmental document? He specifically asked if we submit a comment for the DED, can we receive a physical paper copy of the final EA for the project? So I believe that um, if, if anyone submits a comment, will they automatically receive a physical paper copy of the final EA? Uh, yes, uh, as Angie uh, mentioned, the um, comment and response will be provided, will be reflected in the final EA. Uh, we'll make the EA available for review again at uh, SPCT office or the UKIPA uh, Public Works desk. Uh, Mr. Hurst, if you'd like to request a copy, please um, send us a comment that you specifically want a copy for yourself and we will respond to your comment. Perfect. And then Marisa, Mr. Hurst's second question is, will these truck climbing lanes be separated by a physical median barrier like on the Route 60 truck lanes project administered by RCTC? Thank you so much uh, for the question, Mr. Hurst, and thank you, Sarah, for relaying it. I'd like to direct that to Mark Hager to address. Mark? Yes, and thank you for the question again. The truck lanes will, be, will not be separated by a physical barrier. It will be a pavement marking or a pavement stripe that defines the, outer, the existing outermost lane in the eastbound direction as the identified truck climbing lane. So there will not be any physical barriers separating it. So if you, as long as you're familiar with the corridor, what you see in the I-10 climbing from Redlands Boulevard, or, or excuse me, Ford Street in Redlands, up the hill approaching Ukaipa. Uh, and onward to Live Oak Interchange. It is just a striping delineation and that, that will be uh, indicated with pavement markings as a truck climbing lane in addition to signage, but no physical barrier will exist to physically separate the trucks from the general purpose lanes. It will be a lane designation again by signage and by striping. And then to the, our project team, um, Mr. Hurst just informed me that he is asking for a final copy of the final EA mailed to his mailing address, which I have and will forward on to the project team. He specifically says he would like a paper copy and not a CD copy. Thanks for relaying that information, Sarah. Mr. Hurst, this is Antonio Toledo with Caltrans. If you would like for these comments that you've made tonight to be included in the final addressed and included in the final environmental document, uh, please be sure to send us another email uh, as the email that you previously sent did not include these comments. Otherwise, we'll just respond to the comments that were provided in the email you sent uh, prior to this meeting. Thank you, Antonia. We wanna give folks a few more moments to raise their hand if they have any questions or comments. You can do that by clicking anywhere on your Zoom screen if you're joining us on your laptop. Uh, the Zoom toolbar, you'll see the participants icon. If you click that icon, you'll be able to hover over your name in the participants panel and you can select to raise or lower your hand. Similarly, if you're joining us tonight from your cell phone or tablet using the Zoom app, again, click anywhere on your screen to bring up the Zoom toolbar. Click on that participants icon. And when you find your name on the participants list, you will be able to select between raising your hand. Finally, if you are joining us over the phone, Without the Zoom app, you can press star nine on your keypad and that will alert us that you have a question or comment. 
all of the information <clears throat> presented during tonight's PowerPoint will be made available on the project website at gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. We also have, uh, we will also make the recording of tonight's presentation available on the project website as well. And we'll give a few more moments here for folks if they have a question or comment that they'd like to leave with the team. Um, again, the uh, options to submit a formal written comment, you may do so via email. Send us your comment to d8.1f760.comments at dot.ca.gov. Be sure to use comments on I-10-E-B-T-C-L in the subject line of your email, or you may mail in your comment to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner with the California Department of Transportation, District 8, 464 West 4th Street, MS820, San Bernardino, California, 92401. Again, all public comments must be received by August, Monday, August 10th, 2020. We want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. And we'll wait just a few more moments in case anyone has any questions or comments they'd like to leave. Again, Marissa. Yes. Sorry, this is Paul Malogton again. Um, could we request Mr. Hurst's um, contact information? Mr. Hurst, if you can provide that via um, chat again to Sarah. Yes, That'd be much appreciated. I, have all of, I have all of his contact information. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. <laughs> Again, if you would like to watch the recording of tonight's presentation, it will be made available on the project website, gosbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. In addition to the recording of tonight's presentation, we will also have a copy of the PowerPoint presentation available on the project website. In addition, you'll be able to view various exhibits as well as the exhibits of the existing conditions and the proposed improvements that Mark referenced earlier in the presentation. In addition, you may also review the video simulations that Mark made reference to, which illustrate the existing conditions in the project corridor, as well as a video simulation of the proposed improvements. We want to thank everyone for taking time out of your evening to join us. There are two different options. If you'd like to submit a formal written comment, you may do so via email or in writing. And all comments must be received by Monday, August 10th. Again, if you'd like to email us your formal comment, you may do so by sending your comment to d8.1f760.comments at dot.ca.gov. Remember to use comments on I-10 EB TCL in the subject line of the email. And again, if you would like to mail in your formal comment, Please address that to Antonia Toledo, Senior Environmental Planner with the California Department of Transportation, District 8, at 464 West 4th Street, MS 820, San Bernardino, California, 92401. All public comments must be received by Monday, August 10th, 2020. This time, 
we want to thank everyone for your participation. Thank you for joining us for the virtual public meeting for the I-10 eastbound truck climbing lane. We appreciate you taking the opportunity to learn more about the project, and we want to encourage you to submit your formal comments for inclusion in the final environmental document. All of the information that we covered this evening will be made available on the project website, go sbcta.com forward slash I-10 truck climbing. At this time, we'll conclude this evening's presentation. Thank you all for joining us. Have a wonderful evening.